What's up guys, I'm gonna run down a few apps that are uh, working on the iPhone 4. Now I've already jailbroken my iPhone 4, which you can too. I'm gonna post the annotation link on the video. So as you can see, I have Cydia and Winterboard already in my iPhone 4. But today I'm gonna talk about OpenSSH. And which is mainly, mainly the reason why uh, VNC Viewer is working. But the problem is that uh, since the iPhone 4 has doubled the resolution, my uh, monitor can't pick up that big of a, I guess, iPhone 4 resolution, so I pretty much have to scroll down scroll up. So like I said, I'm, uh, I'm going to show OpenSSH working on the iPhone 4. This is a way so you can transfer in winterboard themes or manually installing Cydia apps that normally wouldn't be on the Cydia app store yet, but this is just a basic rundown of uh, multiple apps so let's get started so first you're going to do is open city and type in or go to search and type in open ssh go and uh, install it since i already installed it, it's going to say modify i'm not going to reinstall it but it is going to work it's going to uh, pretty much return you to Cydia, and then what you need next is a program called win uh, scp and for Mac users, you're pretty much going to use Cyberduck. For Windows users like me, we'll have to use, uh, like I said, WinSCP. So right here, I have the WinSCP ready. What you got to do is press Edit and put in, put in your IP address. Okay, and the username should be root, and the password should be Alpine, all lowercase. Once you do that, just click and log in and you should be in the window already so that's pretty much how you open SSH you can do a bunch of more stuff here but I'm not gonna really go on to it this is just main, mainly the basic uh, tutorial of how to get open SSH working on your iPhone 4 so that's about it guys uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll have more videos on uh, the iPhone 4 jailbreak soon